So it's not kombucha plus coffee. Mm. It's fermented coffee. Fermented coffee. Yes. Can you use Kobe in fermenting more than just tea? I've been wondering if you could replace tea in kombucha and instead use coffee. Apparently, yes, coffee kombucha is a thing. By fermenting tea, kombucha comes out as a strong drink similar to apple cider. By fermenting coffee, what will it taste like? Mm, I like it better than, kombu than the kombucha you made before. No, it's a lot. We start our coffee kombucha with no other place than, of course, a current batch of kombucha. It's the dawn of a new era for this kobe. Once I use it for coffee, I won't be able to use it for future batches of tea since its flavor structure would have forever been altered. We proceed with emptying out this jar as we usually would. This batch of kombucha will continue to undergo a second fermentation. But that won't be our focus today. Our focus will be on making this coffee kombucha. For a short time, we remove the scoby from the jar so that we can thoroughly cleanse the jar. I avoid touching the scoby so that our culture can remain as free from contamination as possible. If you must, you can of course hold it. Just make sure your hands are very very clean. In the meantime, we've also finished brewing our coffee. While it's cooling down, this is a good time to mix in the sugar. Don't forget about this step because without sugar, your scoby will go hungry. Adding sugar is the most crucial part of the fermentation. We're mixing 100 mg of sugar for 1 liter of coffee. I know my coffee didn't seem enough, but I'll be adding on a previous batch of cold brew to make up the difference. Once the sugar is mixed and fully cooled down, it's time to bring the scoby back in. Don't add the scoby if your coffee is still hot. I repeat, do not add the scoby if your coffee is still hot as this would ultimately kill it. Once you're through with this process, it's time to cover up your jar. You'll however need to let the scoby and the liquid breathe, so using a cheesecloth is recommended. On my end, what I use are coffee filters. After this, we just have to wait for 4 days for the first fermentation. This is much shorter than regular kombucha, which ferments for around 10 days. I was actually nervous that I might have put in the scoby when the coffee was still slightly warm. So I was happy to see the scoby fully floating by the third day. After 4 days, it's time to move on to the second fermentation as we would for regular kombucha. The second fermentation allows that bubbly fizz to build up as you seal it shut with more sugar in your next container. Here you can add more sugar or other sugar-based flavors to enhance the drink. I typically use strawberry jam for a variety in a second bottle. I've been wondering, so one drunken night, I googled, can you make kombucha with coffee? Because you make kombucha from tea. So um, I looked it up on YouTube and apparently it is a thing. We're trying out coffee kombucha or what you can call as kofucha. Cleaning me terms. <laughs> no, it's, uh, legit thing? it's legitimately what they call it. Coffee kombucha has a tendency to be very strong. In fact, the advice People are gonna make coffee kombucha to just use used coffee grounds. Because of the fermentation period, the coffee tends to be very strong. So what do you think about coffee kombucha so far? Uh, it's quite intimidating because kombucha as it is already quite strong. <laughs> <laughs> so to add coffee to it. So it's not Kombucha plus coffee. Mm. It's fermented coffee. Fermented coffee. Yes. Uh, so it's not like kombucha. It's not a mix. fermented tea. This is fermented coffee. Fermented coffee using the same scoby. Oh, I see. I see. I see. The scoby. You, I can't reuse it anymore as tea. Like mm. once you go black coffee, there's no going back for scoby. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. So let's get on with it. 
So if you see, it's a, uh, it has a good froth there. Mm. So this is just like coffee. Mm. I like it better than kombucha, than the kombucha you made before. No, it's a lot less sour, so it's drinkable. I mean. Compared to your kombucha, right. you made very strong kombucha. So first time to try coffee kombucha. Kofucha. It tastes like cold brew with a sourness or acidity. Yep. But slightly vinegary. So I like it. What I like about it is it has a, a strong coffee flavor. The flavor is definitely there on a coffee level, but it doesn't have that bitter um that bitter finish that you know typical coffee would be if it's an espresso or what have you yeah because it tastes more like an iced tea with a hint of coffee yeah for me actually the, the best way for me to put it is if you guys are familiar with sola or a snapple uh, raspberry iced tea usually iced tea has that uh, citrus zest to it uh, it softens the blow of the caffeine how would you rate it my rating would be, it should be a good um, 8.5 maybe. Mm, How about you? An 8. An 8. I'm rating it an 8. You like flat numbers. Yeah, I don't like... Mark. <laughs> no, 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 I don't like... Um, I like rounded numbers. She likes round... This round little number. <laughs> anyway. Where do you see yourself drinking this drink? Would you ever want to crave it? I'm sure. Um, I think it would be... It has the potential to be like the next it drink or the next wow. trendy drink. Mm. Trendy? Yeah, trendy drink. I mean, if you're like craving for something refreshing mm -hmm. but not as exhausting as coffee sometimes because of the crash or you know you know what I mean yeah it, it again it doesn't have that in your face flavor mm, of exactly. coffee so. I have a question though how mm -hmm. health how healthy is this drink I mean it's sugary um but is it the same is it as healthy as kombucha what I know is that it does have the same nutrients the same probiotics um, and it does have the same amount of sugar that's that's the other thing that I've read about in kombucha is they say that people think it's a very you know it's a purely health drink but one downside of kombucha is that it does entail a lot of sugar to put together because of the fermentation that the scoby lives right. off of so same amount of sugar I think same amount of probiotics so if you guys want to taste coffee kombucha let me know maybe you can do this at home or maybe I can give away future batches that I make. So if you've liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so that YouTube can suggest more um, content like this as well. Content from myself, from my experiments, from our tastings, or content from similar producers. Alright, see you guys. Cheers!